Quality laboratories, quality system. What is most important? Both. Now it is broken. 157 newtons. One millimeter by 0.5 millimeter. Four, five, six. You have to use ionized compressed air. If the material flow doesn't work, it stops everything. You're proud to be working for Space Farm. I am very proud. Right now it's about half past seven in the evening. I expect to be at half past nine at the location in Switzerland. That's a city called Samstagen. There's a very tiny little village. So the first city to hit in Switzerland is Basel, then go to Zurich and then to go to Samstagen. drive from this little village to the headquarters of Swiss phone in Samstag and that's about I believe it's five kilometers or something like that but just for your imagination this is the facility of Swiss phone it's situated in the middle of the mountains about some one hour drive from the city of Zurich this is Robert Hello? and Robert is going to show me the research and development departments and not only the research and development department there are many many other departments here at Swiss phone uh, I, I can spend a whole day at this office actually I think but let's first things first Robert R&D right R&D yeah so where do we go first floor good morning yeah. what exactly do you do on research and development because I see a lot of techy stuff over here okay. but so uh, let's come over here what you see here is our uh, recently uh, set up antenna uh, performance lab and we do some uh, radiation performance testing of our high frequency antennas that we have inside the devices. Not actually the, the paging frequency but technologies like uh, Bluetooth or a cellular uh, mobile radio. Okay. We have uh, this uh, turntable over here uh, where we set up our um, S-Quad paging. Now it's turning and measuring. We see how the antenna behaves and the performance. We are also doing some uh, rugged testing. We're going to test with double the voltage that it's uh, supposed to, to hold. To protect the front end amplifier, mm -hmm. we have uh, also like tiny ESD <coughs> protection diodes that we place close to the antenna. In the RD, we do the soldering uh, like down to this size uh, by hand usually. Yeah. before it goes into production. Wow, okay. that's just amazing. Daniel is doing the, the layout, uh, the PCB layout for us. He's uh, scrolling all through the many different uh, layers that uh, such a PCB usually features. What you see over here is this over here, right? Yes, this is the, uh, the, assembly, the assembly drawing and here is uh, the diode. That, this is the diode this over the here, diode. which is that part, which is exactly this Actually, piece over here. Is that piece over this here? This here is it soldered. Okay. If you flip it, uh, it looks like uh, this. So they are the two gold contacts that you have to solder uh, onto the PCB. With the industrial designer, yes. we did a lot of sketching, a lot of different concepts uh, that we have evaluated. And uh, we came up with this kind of concept finally. And uh, we also uh, made some uh, calculations on the strength of the part. Here we did uh, final some, some testing with different materials and of course some, some did break, 
but we made exactly. Take a look. Take a look at this we made, one. This, we this. made improvement that that it's. Uh, this one as well. You only can make a good product once you are testing it right. thoroughly, right? Swiss so, quality. Yes, right. In this case, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just like the cheese, the watches. We um, take care of on everything. So the department behind me is the software R&D development department. So you have hardware development, software development, and right here, this, all of this measurement stuff is the testing department. And of course, System test. The proof is in the pudding, as they always say. So that means that you can talk about tests, you can talk about quality, uh, but you need to experience quality. Before you need to experience quality, there are certificates. And that's something where the Swiss are very good at. This is a certificate for Swiss from Wireless AG. That's one certificate. That's a certificate from the Swiss government here. This is an ATEX certificate. And of course, one of the most important certificates since 2018, um, Swiss Phone is part of the Etsy and they are working on the standards for paging. Very important. That proves that this company knows exactly what it's talking about. And nowadays, of course, we also talk about the environment. And in this case, we have an environment certificate. And that's definitely not all because there's another certificate left, which is the GS certificate. That is a kind of a tooth uh, proofing, uh, as they say it here in Switzerland. It's another certificate of having a good product. Let's first go to the next step. And the next step is... The next step is lunch because it's lunchtime. It's, well, it's not really lunchtime because it's Swiss lunchtime. In the Netherlands, we have lunch at one. In Switzerland, they have lunch at around 12 o'clock. for infra logistics to use an RFID which accompanies the product from the assembled PCB to the finished device. Um, this allows us to uh, read and write contactless informations um, and this information goes through the whole production so we can use the RFID to track uh, our product in every step of our production. So it's all about efficiency and that's typically Swiss. So we're coming back to the Swiss thing. It's efficiency as well, right? Yes, Important. Yes. All right. Uh, oh yes, I almost forgot. It's time to go to the production. They wait for me at the production right now. Um, coffee is finished. Good talks at the coffee machine. Uh, production is, I believe, downstairs. So this is the production and I found Salem over here and he's going to talk about production of pages. So what are we looking here at? We have to prepare everything for the machine so we load them. So you're loading the boards over We're here. Loading the boards now and uh, they come across to the jet sprinter. This is it, this printer is amazing. This printer is so fast printing the dots, the soldier on the on the board, on right? The board. One million dots in an hour. It's a very quick machine. Here are all the devices which are being placed here. For both of them, they bring a capacity of around 32,000. <laughs> After mounting, we use this oven used to, to melt down the solder. Here is the most useful part, which we really, that is because of the radio frequency identity for S-Squad. The radio frequency which writes unique barcode to each and every print. Just when you think you have seen it all, there is some more, yes. right? <laughs> yeah. The department is called the Tampon Printing Department. Uh, printing uh, logos, um, Swiss phone logos uh, for the company. Mm. <laughs> so, this is it. <laughs> print is like this. There are around six stages of assembling here. Okay. Here is stage number one. And you can see we have the case, the LCD, and here they are being joined together. Here is the second stage, and here you can see we have ionized 
compressed air. Here is programming. You see this number? Have you seen it somewhere? This, this number was already displayed RFID. when you... Exactly. RFID. I told you you would meet this number. So here it's like alignment. It, it's tried to detect the RFID. The last is the fifth one. Customer programming. This is for Esquad. For Esquad? Yeah. This is for Esquad Pager. Yeah. Okay. So we test all devices. Every print has the um, unique barcode. Charging device over here, the stecker, the clips, so everything together. Everything together, and then you also have the manual. So basically, that sums up a pager manufactured by a company like Swiss Phone. Now, the most important thing here is the synergy between all of those departments. Everything is very well organized, and that's quite important in the process of producing a quality high product uh, for a market like public safety, not only in Switzerland, but also worldwide. Very well done. So Angelo, what does 50 years of Swiss phone mean for you? Yeah, it was a long journey with a lot of changes in technology. But I think fundamental is uh, we are proud to have uh, a huge network of committed partner, customers. And uh, the most important thing is that you have your own staff motivated, employee. We are celebrating weekly, daily, 30, 40 years of an anniversary with our employee and they think this is the recipe to be able to survive such a long time. What would be the strategy for the future for Swiss Farm, you think? With all these changes in our industry? We are uh, monitoring and watching carefully um, all possible trends. I mean, we define our technology in terms of what or the potential impact of disaster, blackouts, crisis, etc. I mean, we cannot just have a fad and uh, following every trend if it doesn't make sense. I think we are able today to deliver an infrastructure which is fulfilling all these three criteria, mm -hmm. reliance, redundance and uh, total cost of ownership. And uh, POCSAC is still a very robust technology for this crisis situation that we are, let's say, positioning ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Which topics do you think will dominate the market tomorrow and how will Swiss Phone deal with those kind of topics? Yeah, I mean, uh, if, I, if I look at your pin here on your jacket here, <laughs> here, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's here. a 5G it's here. pin, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, this is becoming now reality, broadband, uh, 5G, it's a serious uh, task, topics uh, in our industry, I mean, they are moving investment in an amazing amount of money. We see clearly trend in the UK, other market, they are getting now slowly oriented towards this 5G for mission critical applications. And of course, uh, Swiss Phone is also uh, monitoring this development. And uh, we believe this broadband technology is not primary focus for alerting technology, but there will be in the future some application which will be relevant. And this is the reason also why Swiss Phone have developed and introduced last year the first uh, pager with uh, LT narrowband technology just to be at the front line and uh, be part of this development. 